All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So, uh, another fan-made one. You know, another one of my recent viewers slash subscribers sent to me a new uh, fake card. And they were like, hey, review this one. I'm like, okay, we'll take the time to go ahead and look at it. So, this is Raw... Is it Raw Z or Raw Say? I don't know. Letter X is weird. Ravenger of the Yang Zing. I'm just going to call him Ravenger. So, a, a Yang Zing, another Yang Zing Synchro Monster. This is level 8. Okay. Uh, I kind of wish you would have did something different with the levels, because, you know, all the Zing Zing monsters have, you know, different levels. You know, we have uh, Yazi at 7, Baxi at 8, and Chao Feng at 9, but this is just another 8, so pretty much uh, the card that I guess we should compare this to is uh, Baxi, and of course Baxi is probably one of the easiest to go into, and uh, one of the most powerful being to go ahead and send uh, cards back to the deck for the, the different... Uh, attribute synchros use so very 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 powerful effect so let's see how this card stacks up so level 8 synchro fire monster worm synchro effect uh, 2900 attack 1400 defense so uh, assuming we're gonna go ahead and go into this the same way we go into Baxia so uh, one of the easiest ways is of course Gialtu, uh Bixi and Suwani so unaffected by traps and 500 attack and defense decrease so it'll go 3400 not bad not bad but let's go ahead and look how you make this is it is it generic? One tuner plus one or more non tuner monsters. Yeah, that's generic. So that's one of the advantages it has over um, over uh, uh, Baxia is that's generic. So you know you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry. About, so you know when you're playing and you, for example, if I'm playing a Cosmic Key Bell and I have like you know a Max Chameleon and a Phantom of Chaos, I yeah I can make this. If it was a real card, I can make this. So not bad, not bad. But let's look at this effect and compare. So, first effect. Each time your opponent adds cards from cards, parentheses cards, so, you know, uh, multiple cards or just one card, uh, from their deck to their hand, except by drawing them, uh, you can inflict 600 points to your opponent. So, this isn't even once per turn. So, literally, this is just, you know, every single individual time your opponent adds uh, cards from their uh, deck to their hand, they're taking 600 Okay, that, that that's fine, I guess. I mean, you know, we have things like mistake and you know, mistake and arrest and you know, Dark Law who handle and Thunder King who handle the situation much better than just inflicting six hundred. But hey, you know, depending on what time it is in the duel, I mean, that six hundred burn that can be you know going against like you know necros and you you have advantage. They don't have much life on slap. You drop this guy and you're just like go ahead, try to search and get set up to try to get over this. Nah, you're gonna get burned to death. So. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. It's not a terrible fact, but it's not a great one either. No. Uh, next. During either player's battle phase. Okay. You can destroy one Yangzing monster you control. This card gains attack equal to the original attack of the destroyed monster until the end phase. I mean, he's already 29 slash 3400. So, I mean, if you really need to go ahead and have a Yangzing monster... Uh, you know, increase the increase your attack. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't feel like that effect is necessary either. I mean, you're thirty four hundred. I mean, really, what what what's trying to you know attack you? It's thirty four freaking hundred. That's like what? Okay. So during either player's battle phase, so I mean, you can they declare their attack. You use your effect to destroy one of your Yangzing monsters. I mean, this can be activated during the damage step. And I believe, the, yeah, the Yang Zing monsters will go off during damage step. The only problem is, I'm not sure if you won't get the Yang Zing monsters effect because the the attack duration is already going through, or they get to redeclare because you're using your Yang Zing monster effect to summon a new Yang Zing monster in the field was changed, so they get to redeclare. In which case, even if they were going to attack with your 3400 ass, you're stronger now. And it's just like, oh, you, you destroy Yang Zing monster, you control this card, gains attack equal to the original attack of the destroyed monster. I'm sorry, but half of the Yang Zings don't have any attack. I mean, think about it, think about it. When you sit down and you sit down and look at the Yang Zing deck, you have Zhao Tzu, zero attack. You have Bixi, zero attack. You have Chi Wen, zero attack. Uh... I mean, I don't think that they play the wind one anymore. I can't remember his name. That's that's how much I don't play that one. Uh, Beyond, I mean, I guess sixteen. So you go up to five thousand. That that sounds really unnecessary. 
and um, Sewanee. So you would go up to down into the math, fifty three. So I guess I guess nah, that's not a good effect either. So so far I definitely still say going to back here. But okay, we'll continue, we'll continue. Uh when this card is destroyed by battle, I highly doubt that. Or opponent's card effect. And sent to the graveyard, okay. You can target one monster on the field, destroy it. Take damage equal to half that monster's attack, then inflict damage to your opponent equal to the damage you took. You can only use this effect of rather than the Yings in once per turn. Okay. No. 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 Yeah, it might be cute if you, you know, maybe finish your opponent off since, you know, it's kind of like a ring of destruction. You go ahead and, you know, pop a monster, then you take half the attack, and then your opponent takes half the attack. So, of course, there is no draw. You would lose before your opponent if, you know, it came down to that. But, you know, if you can go ahead and finish off your opponent with this attack, then, yeah, but, you know. With a monster as high attack as this, I doubt you're going to be destroyed with battle. They're probably going to handle you in some method of uh, targeting, you know, whether that be 101 or cast out or something. So, I doubt that effect will go off often. Nah, no, 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 no. That's it. All these all these effects are just really, just really mediocre and not worth the time and effort to summon this guy. You know? If I was going to go with a generic synchro monster, I'd go with someone who handles the situation better. Like, you know, like, shit. If I was going to go with just a generic synchro monster, just straight up, uh, lock it down, I'd probably go with Spark. Just because of his, you know, blocking destruction effect, which is not bad. You know, but there's situational ones that are better, like Hot or Scrap. You know, just generic ones. Because that's the only bonus I can give you right now, is that you're just generic. But, you know... Of course, you know, your first effect to burn when you start, meh. Like I said, unless it's really close to the end of the duel, that's not worth summoning. That's not. Um, of course, if I'm playing this in a non yingzing deck, like if I would apply Scrap Dragon or, you know, Hot Red, then my sec I wouldn't even be using the second effect. And then the third effect is also just kind of meh as well. So, generic-wise, you're not as good. And yingzing wise you're definitely not as good. Like, Baxi... Baxia would wreck this. Like, Rex is so much better. Baxia is like, oh yeah, for different attributes, go ahead and spin back. That's already just like, what? That's fantastic. That's already fantastic. But then your second effect, go ahead and destroy, target the Yang Zing, the graveyard, target one on the field, and destroy. It will pretty much swap them, and then that one that you destroyed will get its effect, which is set up for more synchro plays. That Baxia is just way better than this card. Like, if this card actually exists, like, if this card came out as, uh, no offense, but if this card came out, for real, as a Yang Zing card, as a new Yang Zing synchro monster, I would be very disappointed. You know, I'd say go back to the drawing board and do a different one. Do do like a level, either do like an okay level six because they could always go with level six. I mean, really, their level six is Glaio Guardian. Am I right? Am I right? That's their that's their their six. So give them either uh you know not too powerful OP uh six or give them something really awesome level ten because that that's where they need. Because like I said, you know with uh, Yazi. Baxia and Chao Fang, they are good for 7, 8, and 9. So 6 would be nice, and uh, 10 would be just, just amazing. Cause they, can, they can pull off a 10. They can probably pull off a 10. So, uh, you know, if they want to put the time and effort to pull off a 10, then it should be super good. So, there you go. So, tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. So, uh, like I said, thank you for sending me this card. Uh, like I said, I, get, I gave my honest opinion about it. So... I hope that you guys enjoyed some sort of Fake Card Friday. Of course, we'll be back next Fake... Oh my god, I can't speak. I'll be back next Friday with another Fake Card to look at. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And yeah, see you guys next Friday. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.